Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited about today's video. I know I pretty much say that all the time, but we're going to be doing a video here about your um, first sexual encounter with your future spouse. So I always really like to watch videos like this. I think they're very interesting. I will tell you today that our piles are very distinct. So please make sure that you're choosing, whoa, choosing, you know, the one that resonates with you. Um, what else can I say? Information to book an extended reading with me is below. Not an extended private reading. And there will be an extended to this um, video. Those timestamps will be down below as well. I just wanted to thank everyone for being here, for supporting my little channel. I'm going to go ahead and show you here what we have. Pile one, you have this red jasper. Beautiful. Pile two, we have adventurine. I love that color. It's so pretty. And pile three, what do you have? Goldstone. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with pile one. I'm just going to push these guys off to the side here so we can go ahead and get started. This pile two is really jumpy. Okay, pile one. If you chose this red jasper, then this is your reading. I'm just going to set that guy up here. Um, let's go ahead and see. What is your next encounter? Not your next encounter. What is your first encounter? It's interesting I said next. Maybe some of you are already sleeping with this person. Um, <laughs> what is your first encounter with your future spouse sexually? What does that look like? What is it going to be like? Will it be good? Will it be so-so? Let's get to it. Again, extended timestamps are down below if you wanted to explore that. Private reading links are also down below. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Great first card. We have the hunter. Wow. So look at this card right here. This person is really going to be charging in with a lot of passion towards you. Um, I'm hearing single-minded focus, so I do feel like this person will be very, very attracted to you and will be very excited to explore. This horse really just looks um, like, look at how passionate and that horse looks like it's moving quite quickly there. And I'm also just getting a sense of a really athletic frame, male or female here. So if you don't already know your future spouse, I do feel like they, they have quite an athletic frame to them. They will we'll be single-handedly focused on sort of, you know, getting to the act is what I'm getting with the hunter. They could even be someone who likes to be more dominant. There's a lot of charging forward, a lot of movement, quick movement forward. This person likes to go quick. Eight of cups. Wow. Wow. There could have been on both sides is what I'm picking up here. Really a um, leaving leaving behind of, of other people, other circumstances, other things that weren't make you, making you happy in order to sort of pursue this connection with each other. I do sense that both of you could have been alone for quite some time before coming together. It's like you're both sort of doing this spiritual quest where you're looking for what is it that actually makes you happy. What offers you true fulfillment here? I think that's pretty beautiful. Eight of Wands. Eights are important in this um, connection. For some of you, I do feel like August will be a big month. We have two eights here. Rapid movement. Again, I'm just going to switch this guy over here. I just get the sense that this person will be very, very passionate towards you. There will be a lot of thinking about it. A lot of probably even talking about it. I am getting like texting back and forth, you know, to sort of build excitement. Um, for some of you here, I think it really surprises this person how passionate they actually feel towards you. I feel like for some reason they were really on a solo journey and finding you ignites that passion back in this person. Holy smokes. Knight of Swords. Okay, so we have another horse here. <laughs> So that could be important for some of you. Um, this is an air sign person, Lib Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. But look like, look at how these two are sort of facing inward. I just feel like this connection um, surprises this person, to be honest. And I think they're really surprised at how passionate they do feel towards you. Like I said, I do feel for most of you, this person, and maybe you, have been alone for quite some time before coming together. But it's like this person meets you and they realize your their fulfillment and they just like cannot stop. I feel like this um, encounter will happen very quickly, very suddenly. I'm getting a lot of passion here as well. 
obviously like look at the hunter and all of like even look at this guy with his sword it just feels like it's going to be very very um exciting is the word i'm hearing quick passionate this person will almost be unable to control themselves ace of swords yeah there like i said there might be a lot of sexting back and forth i am getting that i'm also getting a lot of communication during the act so you know maybe this is a chatty person in the bedroom they want to chat with you they want to talk to you they want you to make sure you know they they want you to you know tell them if you're feeling good tell them what you like this is a communicative person and i feel like they're really going to want to chat with you um during the act <laughs> I don't mean like chitter chatter, but maybe, I don't know, maybe this person has a sense of humor or something. Holy smokes, we have the Eight of Cups again. So yeah, you guys are really mirroring each other here. This could be a twin flame connection for some of you. There is really a sense of um, you guys leaving something behind, maybe even serious relationships here on both ends because you just knew something wasn't right. And now that you're meeting, it's like all of a sudden the sense of, oh, okay, this is my person. And then that passion piece kicks in. But there's definitely a sense of sort of, um, I'm hearing hero's journey. So that could resonate with some of you. The star. A person could have strong Aquarius in their chart or you could have strong Aquarius in their chart. There will be a lot of fantasizing about this act from both ends I'm getting. I do feel like even when the two of you meet each other but before you hook up, there's a lot of thinking going on about this, about what it will be like. Your person finds you incredibly attractive. They feel like you are guided to be with them. They do feel a sense of camaraderie with you. Um, they are they are obsessed with your body is what I'm hearing. I literally just heard that. So I do feel like this person feels like you're almost from another planet. Like they couldn't have planned a per more perfect partner, even if they tried. Whoa, with the high priestess Pisces energy now on the board. Um, I feel like this person thinks you're incredibly mysterious and they really like that about you. This person really wants to see you naked, I'm hearing. Like, they'll want to see you right away. I don't know. I'm getting the sense for some of you, maybe you're more demure dressers, um, a little bit more on the conservative side, and this person really likes that about you because it makes their mind really think about what could be going on underneath. This person really wants to unravel all layers of you, I'm hearing. They really, really, really want to know um, what it is that makes you tick, what it is that turns you on. Wow, yeah, this is beautiful. There will be a lot of like leading up, I think, to the connection because I feel like both of you will feel the charge. And so like when it finally happens, you're both gonna feel like very, very, um, like that explosive passion. But there is a lot of fantasizing here, I think on both ends, the devil. <laughs> I love the devil, he's one of the most sexy, I think for me personally, it's one of the most sexual cards in the deck. You have three major arcana in a row here. This will be a very big, um, <laughs> A very, very big connection in terms of um, the, the actual encounter itself. I do feel like there will be a lot of flowing together, a lot of passion. Um, your person could have Capricorn in their chart as well. So for signs, we really strongly here have Aquarius, Pisces, and Capricorn. But I feel like there's a lot of unexplored kinks to this person like this is a kinky person you guys but I don't know if they share that with people like I feel like it's kind of under the surface there with the high priestess but this person wants to do things to you that I cannot say on this YouTube channel flow what did I say did I not just say that I do feel like the two of you will really have this like watery energy so one of you could actually be a water sign cancer Scorpio Pisces or have that particularly I'm hearing in your Venus and Mars this person <laughs> I'm hearing something about fluids here. So this person will really want you to be very excited. They like that. That makes them feel very excited. I think you'd be surprised at how deep, deeply passionate and sensual this per person is. Because of, again, the hunter is a very quick energy. But with this here, like I feel like this could last for some time, you know? Consciousness. Wow, this is like... This person like... It's almost like you both of you realize when you're hooking up that there's something more to this connection. I do feel like the two of you really feel very much um, drawn to each other. This is not just going to be 
purely physical. There is a spiritual element here coming in as well. Like if with the star, the high priestess flowing consciousness. Um, yeah, like this feels like it kind of, it kind of gets, gets it right on all the different levels. To be honest, pile one, we have frustration in reverse. <laughs> this person will probably have a lot of pent up frustration here with that hunter they're really going to want to sort of let that come out that's really something that they are desiring they want to let it flow um and release some of that frustration with you i do feel like i said for some of you you will definitely for both of you you might not be intimate with anyone for quite some time before the two of you hook up and then it's like this explosion it's like that frustration that built up pent up energy finally gets dispersed and we also have peace in reverse. So this person also wants it to be exciting for you. That's very important for them. They like it when you're excited. This person wants you to, like I said, there is an element here of this person seeing you as very mysterious and like almost wanting to take apart your layers. This person doesn't want it to be peaceful and fun. And like they're, they, you know, they really do want that passion in there. You know, so I find this energy very interesting. I think that this could probably be a very dynamic partner to be with, honestly. We have humor. Did I not say something about that? Um, this is, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So this person might want to make you laugh. Yeah, they won't want it to feel too serious. They'll want you to lighten up. I do feel like, honestly, you guys, I, I don't know why this is coming through. Again, this is a sex reading, but... I do feel like the two of you are deeply spiritually connected here, which I think this person actually really likes and makes them enjoy everything a lot more. This person for some of you might be culturally different or there is something very unique about this person. I think that this is a very special connection. I also think that this is a very unique person. So this is not like your average run of the mill person. They are very um, layered, I'm hearing, and they're gonna wanna really explore that. And we have empathy. Wow, what a beautiful card. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. This person is very, very attuned with your needs. They want you to feel good with that. They're very, like, I'm hearing every time you quiver or shake or they're very much, like, right in there. You know, they really are able to pick up what it is you're putting out and they're able to match you accordingly. Like I said, this is a dynamic lover, I think for many of you. They're very, very good at picking up your signals. There is both like, I'm getting a lot of fire, but I'm also getting a lot of water. And of course we have um, air very heavy on the board. So really everything but earth. <laughs> I'm kind of picking up you guys. Like there is a very unique passion to this person, but then there also is like water. So they could have like a lot of Cancer Scorpio Pisces placements and then have like more intensive fire placements as well. This is a very um, interesting person in the way that they approach this connection. Let's get some channeled messages from your person. Tell me about pile one speaker spells the first time they have sex. What will be going on here? What will they say? All right. Let's see what we have, my loves. I'm keeping this connection a secret. So yeah, like I think both of you are pretty secretive, quiet people. You like to keep to yourselves. So maybe before, you know, everyone knows that this is your boyfriend or your future spouse or whatever, um, there will be an element of not really sharing what's going on here between the two of you. Yeah, I really think that, you know, you might even be hooking up in secret, which I mean, who doesn't hook up in secret? Abstinence. Oh my God, I cannot make this up. Holy smokes. Like sometimes these really blow my mind because I was really picking up that maybe both of you, um, you know, have really been non-active for a while. If this is virginal energy, I just have to come in here and, and, you know, approach this from that angle. This will be a very, very good connection, I think, for a first time person. But I feel like for most of you, you're kind of just going to be not active at that time. I'm well-mannered and respected in the community. Well, we love that. Freak in the sheets. I like to read and have lots of books in my library. Yeah. <laughs> so like this person, very, very sweet. I, you know, like um, air sign vibes really coming through here strongly. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, secret meeting. Yes, yeah, so you just might start hooking up in secret here. Like nobody might even know that this is going on between the two of you. 
this connection has altered the course of my life. Well, yeah, duh. But I also do feel like this encounter the first time will be very intense on a lot of different levels, physical, mental, spiritual as well. I'm very connected to my family. So you could be connected to your family. This person could be connected to your family. <laughs> we have, I want to worship you. That's beautiful. I love that. Like I said, this person is really uh, focused on you and your pleasure. You're projecting your old stuff onto me. So particularly here, if you guys have been, you know, abstinent for some time, I really want you to make sure that you're not projecting old stuff onto this person when you do finally hook up. Unproductive. <laughs> You'll make, this person will be very distracted. They're going to fantasize a lot about you. I'm actually getting that from both ends. Ooh, I ride motorcycles or ATVs. We love that. I love that. I think that's really sexy. Don't let love blind you. So it's like this person is really shocked at how um, love, lovely this connection is. I feel like it, this is really going to be surprising for both of you. So that's what I have for you guys. There will be an extended. That timestamp that is down below. Um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe if this worked for you. Or if this resonated, I would love to hear what you think. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to go ahead and move on to pile two. Once I gather up all of these little messages and put them back in my massive bag of messages. <laughs> okay. I like filming in one go. It's really helpful for me because um, I can just stay in the flow. So I'm sorry if you guys don't like it. Just let me know though. I'm always open to feedback, you know? Okay. Let me take the second pile up. I'm gonna have some water. Hi, pile twos, welcome to your reading. If you chose this green adventuring, this is your reading. So we're going to be taking a look at your first time with your future spouse. Very, very excited to get into this. Um, if you skipped over the intro, there will be an extended to this. Timestamps are down below. Um, all of the information to book a personal reading with me is also down below. Now let's go ahead and get started. The shadow. Wow. That's an intense card to pull right away for a, a sexual encounter here, hey? I do feel, I'm hearing so many things, hold on. I do feel for some of you that this will be like a twin flame soulmate union. You will really feel like you know this person very, very well. I'm also hearing for some of you that this person will be very triggering to you. There is an element here of triggering on both sides. This is only so that you guys can grow more as individuals and as a union. There is also an element here of wanting to explore the unknown from both sides. You both could have fetishes here is what I'm picking up. And this union will really give you a chance to explore some of that. Again, only take that if it resonates, but this feels like for the shadow to come up as the first card, it's very, um, I think it's beautiful, but it's also quite of an, uh, an intense energy. Holy smokes, 10 of swords. <laughs> so you guys have gone through, I feel like from both sides, I think this pile, pile two, I do feel like you and your person have gone through quite a lot of pain, not with this connection, but separate. And I feel like there is almost a sense of um, trepidation or nerves or like really feeling nervous about hooking up again because you've been so hurt in the past and your person too. I do feel for this group that there is a really strong soul bond here and you two do mirror each other in a big way. But I almost feel like when you two, when you guys hook up with your future spouse, you're almost in this state of like, not giving up, but kind of giving up, you know, where you're like, I don't, I don't know if I can ever be with someone again. You know, it's kind of this energy of like really confronting your shadow. You're going through, I'm hearing dark night of the soul. I'm also hearing depression and anxiety. So I don't know if some of you are going through this right now. But I feel like, you know, when you hook up with your spouse, you'll really be coming out of a, a very difficult chapter. Oops. Four of Swords. Some of you could 
really um, have been abstinent for quite some time. This is like very, this doesn't feel very sexually active to me on both ends. I also, again, that anxiety piece is really coming through strongly here, you guys. So you could really, um, there could be some underlying mental health issues you're working on. And because this pile does feel very mirrored, I do also feel like your spouse could have some underlying health issues that they're working on. I do feel for many of you, you just don't know this person yet. Death, holy smokes. Yeah, this, this coming together, this union, the sexual union between you and your future spouse is going to be incredibly transformative. I cannot stress that enough. This will be, this is no just like quick hookup. This is no sort of like fun, let's get this on. I think from both sides, you understand that this is like really a powerful thing that you're going to participate in and it will end up changing your life and this person's life for the better. I almost think that you you might have Scorpio heavy in your chart. This person might also have he like really heavy Scorpio in their chart. I'm also picking up Capricorn energy here. I don't really know why. Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Yeah, it's like when you hook up with this person, when you meet this person, you really realize that there is like a chance for a spark in life. There is a chance for excitement. There is a chance for passion. And you know, there's space in your life for passion. There's going to be so much attraction here that I think it's almost going to shake both of you up, especially if you have been in this really heavy state of of processing or of healing or of just going through your your death process essentially you know letting something go so something new can come in and oh my gosh look at what's coming in the ace of wands this is beautiful energy you guys queen of swords you could definitely be boundaried i love the queen of swords she gets a bad rap but i love her it, it this often can indicate someone who has gone through a lot of pain or trauma so she's a little bit boundaried, right? We do have a lot of swords here. So, you know, we could have Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius heavy, heavy, heavy in this pile. But more than that, I'm getting a sense of you feeling very um, cautious with this person. You might even be distrustful of this person is what I'm hearing. Five of swords. Holy smokes, what happened here, you guys? Um, I think from both ends, there is an initial feeling of not trusting each other. But the attraction is so strong that it's almost like, well, we have to, we have to try this because like, holy smokes, I can't stop thinking about you, but both of you are really in your heads about this connection. What I want to say more than anything to, to you is to really just make sure you are present in your body with this person and not so much in your head, because I do get a tendency from your part pile too, my loves, that you're overanalyzing. You might be thinking a lot about things. You might really be in your head about this, this situation. Um, oh my gosh, two of swords. You guys, come on, give me a break here. There's going to be a lot of internal thinking about this before it even happens. It's not even like fantasizing though. It's more like you're creating problems before they even happen. You know, like it's like you're deciding this person, there's no way they could like me. This won't go well, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Even before you guys hook up. So I really want to say to you to please, 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 for the love of everything, get out of your head and really pop into this Ace of Wands creative passion, this drive towards this person. Wow, the sun. You guys, this is going to be so beautiful. Once you actually hook up and like once, you know, you get it on with this person, I feel like it's going to be really, really good. And a lot of your fears will drop away. But there is a lot of fears here and anxieties. We have cleanse. Some of you really just need to Oh my gosh, I'm hearing so many things. Cleanse your body. So those of you who, who you know, know that that applies to you, you'll know. For instance, I'm getting a lot of alcohol, drugs. There could be substances here. There is also a lot of pent up energy and emotions here, you guys. So what I need you to do, especially if you don't know this person yet, and I feel like for most of you, you don't, is to please just cry. Have a good cry. Let it out. Some of you might need to detox your body. I feel like there's so much going on in your mind too that you would really benefit from like cutting out bad social media or cutting out, you know, watching shows that are really bothering you. Like there's a sense of really having to control your mind here. 
That's funny I said that this person could like to play mind games, you know, not mind games, but they could like to like tie you up or something too. With that shadow, they really want you to relinquish control. Of course, we'll get into that into the in the extended success. Yeah, Spirit is really highlighting here that, you know, this will be a wonderful connection. You're going to feel really happy about it, but there is hunger. Wow. I don't think a lot of you have felt this kind of passion in a really long time, to be honest. That's kind of what I'm picking up. I feel like it's going to be really surprising for you guys um, because it's like you just got used to feeling like this. Feeling really stuck and in your head and then all of a sudden there's this like beautiful transformative energy that's really passionate. And it's kind of like going to shock you a bit, honestly. And we have energy. Wow. This is beautiful, you guys. Um... This person will like, <laughs> this person likes a lot of things first. First of all, they have uh, so much passion for you. They're incredibly attracted to you. They, um, I'm hearing Energizer Bunny. So I feel like for some of you, this will be a long first encounter. I also get the sense that there will be so much passion here. I think you'll be really surprised. This person can't keep their hands off you. Like I'm feeling ripped clothing here. I'm feeling like um, eye contact. <laughs> it's funny because I just noticed her eyes are covered. I'm feeling like, staring you down, really wanting to feel your every move. This person, this person has so much passion that they haven't been able to explore either. So it's like this creates this really intense explosion of energy. This is beautiful. I think this will be really good. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Well, I think that's beautiful. Some of you, there is really a state, uh, a state. There's really a need to balance something out before you meet this person because there is a lot of really imbalanced energy just in the fact that you're so in your head. With balance here though, this person is also an incredibly fair lover. I'm getting fairness. They could have some Libra in their chart. They want you to be taken care of, but they also want themselves to be taken care of, you know, which is totally great. Like I'm all for balance and equality, but I do feel like this person will really be focused on you first. They really want to pleasure you and patience. What did I say? I do feel like this will be a long first time. Um, we have, I accept that everything happens in divine order. So yes, this person's going to really want to take their time with you. They're wanting, they're going to want to give you yours, but they're going to want to get theirs in return. And they're willing to sort of wait for that to really unfold in a natural way. Another message coming through here, you guys with patience, is that if you are, if you do resonate with being in this really heavy, dense shadow energy right now, to just please be patient with yourself because there's a lot of inner work you're doing on yourself, but also this person is doing on themselves as well before the two of you can come into union. For signs here, we have Scorpio, really heavy, Capricorn, Leo with the Sun card, although I'm not really feeling that that much and um, a heavy, heavy, heavy air energy. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or just really um, a lot of thinking, you guys. You're doing a lot of thinking. Let's get some channeled messages here. Tell me about Pilot who's person, please, in their first time with their future spouse. What would that be like? Give me some of the energy. And also give me some of the, some defining features of this person, please, so we can kind of know. Thank you. Okay, let's see what we have, my loves. We have ghosting. <laughs> Some of you could ghost this person. Oh no, because you're so in your head. Listen, 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 my loves. We've all been there, but please don't ghost this person. This is your future spouse. Oh my gosh, this is not even supposed to be here. This is in my dirty bag um, that I only do for the extended. But this is, I like to get creative in our positions. So... <laughs> <laughs> this person is going to want to flip you over, turn you left, turn you right. Like I said, this passion will surprise both of you. We will shake hands when we first meet. Sparks will fly. So for some of you, you might actually shake hands with this person the first time you meet them. I'm tall and thin. My metabolism is really fast and I can eat whatever I want. Um, I always do find people actually with a lot of air in their chart to be quite thin and angular. This is a past life connection we both know. Holy smokes, yeah. The two of you really do have a soul connection here and it's heavy for both of you. It's intense for both of you. I wanna role play. This is another one from my dirty bag. I don't know how this got in here. Um, so yeah, this person is really showing their kinks. 
like I said, with that first card, I feel like this is a kinky person. I'm checking up on you via social media. So this person will like to sort of keep an eye on you or you will also like to keep an eye on this person. We have frequent sexual encounters. I do feel like after the first time, you guys will like literally not be able to keep your hands off of each other with that energy and hunger. We had very different childhoods. So for some of you, this person could be different than you or have grown up in different circumstances. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. I want to be your soulmate in life and love. That's beautiful. I love this person. I mean, I love you both, but I like this person. I love to take care of you. Yeah, what did I say? This person, like they really want to make sure that you're pleasured, you feel happy. I value the opinion of my friends and they are my priority right now. So both of you could really be spending some time not dating at the moment or not, you know, being in romantic situations. <laughs> Y'all just don't call me out in the comments because this actually says earth sign, which is funny because that was the one thing I said I didn't see here. I guess Capricorn, but this person could have earth in their chart. That's funny. Don't call me out on that. Cunning. Wow. Yeah, I feel like this person is almost, I'm get, picking up mischievous energy in terms of um, their sexuality. So that's what I have for you. I hope that it resonated. Please comment, like, subscribe um, if it did. There is an extended to this that is down in the timestamps. And yeah, I just wanted to thank you for watching this little video. I felt like this was kind of a heavy message, but somebody I know needed to hear it. And yeah, what else can I say? I just like to film these in like one continuous shot. It really does help me a lot um, stay focused with my readings. So I'm sorry if it's annoying that I have to like put everything away. And then I'm just chitter chattering about nothing in the meantime. <laughs> but you know, what are you gonna do? This is just my life. Okay, now we're doing pile three. Let me put that in frame, gonna have some water. Okay. Hi, Pile Threes. Welcome to your reading. If you chose this gold stone, then this is your reading on your first sexual encounter with your future spouse. So very, very excited to get into it. Um, these piles were like way different than what I thought. So I'm excited about this one. What can I say about this? Um, there will be an extended to this video. That timestamp is down below. Um, information to book a personal reading with me is also down below. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. We have the vow. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, so right off the bat, you guys, some of you might um, actually want to wait till marriage until you have this encounter. For others of you, you will already be like in a committed partnership with this person um, before you, you do end up sleeping with them. Like this is very important to you. I also feel from both ends that there is almost an immediate understanding that this is your person this is beautiful you guys will definitely be in a union you know like I, I feel that very strongly let's see what else we have here queen of cups water sign woman cancer scorpio pisces doesn't have to be a woman actually it's just energy there has been somebody spending a lot of time thinking about, you know, their future spouse. Perhaps even, I am getting a sadness from this Queen of Cups. Perhaps even crying about this. Feeling a little bit emotional. Feeling in her feels about this. Like really kind of thinking about this. This doesn't feel like a fantasy to me. It just kind of feels like like an emotional response, you know, like that really, that heart space, like, oh, I, you know, I, I, I can't wait to meet that person, like that kind of a vibe. The chariot, um, cancer, so we could have, we have cancer very heavy here. For some of you, I'm getting that this person comes from a different place than you, or they could, um, they could come, oh, this is going to sound so weird. They could come from somewhere near the equator. Like I'm just getting tropical countries here. So just take that as it resonates. This person, they really want to sort of shake up your emotionality. I feel like this person really, like look at all these yellows. They have a big presence about them and they want you to sort of experience what they have to offer but they're worried that you'll get too much or you, you you can't approach them like there's like a sense of you 
it's not that you're not grounded, but it's just this person finds you, it's difficult to pin you down in your body. The lovers, wow. We have Gemini and now we have Cancer as well. So for a lot of you, I feel like this encounter could happen in the summer. There is a lot of yellows here as well. There is maybe a sense of um, needing to work on your ego or your self-worth that is coming through here very strongly. Because I do think that this person will, I feel like this encounter, first of all, will be very, very fun. It's very committed, first of all. Um, but there is an element of you almost not feeling like you're worthy. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. It's like you feel like, <laughs> I'm hearing charity case, you guys. Some of you feel like you're a charity case. <laughs> like this person's only interested in you because, but they're treating, like they can't possibly like you or something like this which is BS, by the way, because this is your future spouse. But I feel like there is really a need to let this person sort of come in and take the lead. I also feel like this person wants to be very generous with you in the bedroom. They really want you to feel good. This could be quite an, I'm getting an outgoing person, someone who's very talkative, very fun, probably born in the summer months, honestly. Um, but they're really sensing that you, you're going to need a little bit of coaxing. Eight of wands. Beautiful. There's a lot of thinking about this before it actually happens. Um, so I feel like I'm, and again, I'm feeling more from your person's end that there will be a lot of fantasizing. This person might even hearing ask, want to ask you questions about what it is that you like. I don't think you're going to be very open to this, to be honest, but this person, like they really, it's almost like your mystery they want to unravel there is a lot of sexual energy that this person has towards you but they understand that they need to approach you in a very um careful way i'm hearing i don't want to spook you <laughs> so i don't know who needs to hear that three of cups wow um this is beautiful this this could actually happen at your wedding for some of you for others of you this will happen after you end up going to a party or an event there will be a sense of you finally coming out of your shell and it, it's like you start to laugh a little bit. You start to really enjoy this person and then it's like things progress in a really beautiful, natural way. I am hearing for some of you that alcohol will be involved. So if you're not interested in that, just don't take that message. But it does feel like this person gets you with your um, hair down, you know, and that's re really when they come in. Yep. <laughs> Knight of Swords, there they are charging in. I'm hearing for some of you, this person will want to sort of get you drunk. Just only to, again, it's your future spouse, so I know this person loves you. But it's like this person really has a hard time breaking through your shell. They're very focused on you sexually. Actually, I don't. I don't think. I feel like you. You don't even notice them. You know. You know, looking at you, or I'm getting like a lot of like. This person's checking you out on the on the secret or on the down low for some reason. And you, it's like you don't even see what they're doing. You don't even notice how attracted they are to you. The magician. Yeah, so magician and the devil to me, you guys, are some of the sexiest cards out of the deck. So let me just pull one more. And the hermit. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, what's going on here? This person, they're a little kinky for sure. I feel like this person has more experience than you. There could be an age difference here, you guys. I feel like there's an experience difference here too. That could be sort of putting some of you off. You could feel like this person has, you know, gotten around a little bit or slept with other people. Um, maybe had more experience than you. And you could feel a little bit, not embarrassed, but like um, reserved around this person because of that, because you feel like they're so much more experienced. Now, what this person wants more than anything is for you to let your guard down so they can come in and do their thing. Um, this is a person with a lot of, they could have a lot of kinks, honestly, that they're, they just haven't really shared or explored. This person could be older than you. I do feel like they're more experienced in the bedroom. This is putting some of you off. Ideation. Yeah, there's a lot of fantasizing in your head about what this could be like, what this might be like. Will this be good? Blah, 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 blah. Like there's a lot of, you know, thinking about this and putting this person up on a pedestal. Remember, this is your future spouse. So we can't put them up on a pedestal because they're just like you. But there is that element of you really um, idealizing this person, disruption. Yeah, this person, I feel like 
once you sort of let your guard down with this person, and I'm particularly picking up an event here, you guys, things progress really, really quickly. And it's like you're surprised at how quickly you let this person in abundance. This person will want to spoil you, though, in the bedroom. And I, I just want to say that because this person might be more experienced than you, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I actually think that this will be a good thing because it's like they'll sort of be able to pick up your cues, read you very well. <laughs> I'm hearing this person will put up with your mood. Your, I'm literally hearing I'll put up with your moody ass. So I know that that resonates with someone. So I feel like this person, you know, is willing to put the time and effort into this. They really want you to feel good. There is an abundance of knowledge that they want to share. I'm hearing teach as well. So this person could want to teach you some new tricks. Movement. Holy smokes. I always think that these two cards like look super similar. Hey, what do you guys think? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Um, like I said, when this, when this starts moving, holy smokes, does it move fast? It moves really fast. This person, this person I feel is very magnetic. It's like they're, they really create movement in your life. This is like um, a master manifester type of person, you guys. And it's like once you start with this person, you can't stop because it's so pleasurable. I would expect really rapid movement actually. Once this person lets your, you, you know, gets your hair let down, the movement here is really, really quick. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being and doubt. I release the need to know all answers. Yeah, you guys are really in your heads. I do feel like you feel like you're not good enough for this person. You're not experienced enough for this person. Um, you're not attractive enough for this person, blah, 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 blah. But again, this is your future spouse. So obviously you are, first of all. Secondly, this person, um, I feel like your person, first of all, I'm hearing a lot of chitter chatter and a lot of dirty things. So I do feel like your person probably likes to talk dirty, <laughs> but this person more than anything wants you to know that you're on their level. Um, I, I accept responsibility for my well being. So it, this is a person who, oh my gosh, I'm hearing like they'll, they'll be okay with like training you to sort of, you know, be up not to their level, but if you don't know what you're doing, this is a good person to help show you the ropes. There is really a lack of confidence coming through with you guys here. I want you to work on that, okay, my loves? Like, I really do. All of these groups have had sort of, you know, like underlying things going on, which is fine. Like, this is just supposed to be a fun little reading, but... For you guys in particular, you don't feel worthy and that's bothering me because of course this is your future spouse and you guys are amazing. So please work on that because it's like you can't rely on another person to help you feel good about yourself. You have to do that work independent of this person. Let's get some child messages. Tell me about Kyle for this person here. Tell me about this first sexual encounter with Kyle for this person. Can we get some hints? As to pile of grease person. Okay. Okay. I'm okay, hearing one more. I'll take those. Okay, let's see what we have, my loves. You're my number one priority. Yeah, this person is not so about you. They like you. They want you. They're obsessed. I want to take a chance on this connection. I feel like that's probably from both ends, you're really struggling to, you know, let this person in. I do see that here. It's like you don't even see them. I want to hug and hold you. Yeah, this person, you guys, there will be a lot of cuddling after. When I see you, I can't help but think there goes my best friend. I'm going to marry you. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. You guys will have a really strong connection. Like I really, I'm picking that up. Secret detective. <laughs> this person will like to spy on you. They really... They not spy on you, but they want to know everything about you is what I'm getting with that. I don't have time right now. So some of you, like I said, when you meet this person, you're totally going to be like, I'm not even into you. What are you even talking about? Rocky starts can lead to happy endings. So this person wants you to know that even if you blow them off the first few times, they're going to stick around. Expect a miracle. Yeah, some of you have been praying for this connection, I feel. Tactless. So you could think that this person's tactless. 
I do feel like they're a lot more direct than you. I don't think that makes them tactless. I want to live with you. Yeah, like I said, for many of you, this is going to be an established connection before you even let this person um, have sex with you. It kills me that there is someone else in your life. So for some of you, you could, you know, this person could have someone else in their life. You could have someone else in your life. There could be a third party situation with the lovers and the three of cups. At least when you guys meet, again, remember, this is your future spouse. <laughs> we have, I want you so bad it physically hurts. Yeah, that's definitely this person coming through. They are obsessed with you. I already have my career figured out. So this person, like I said, they could be older. They're a little bit more established. They're a little bit more experienced. But yeah, that's what I have for you, Pile 3. Um, like I said, there is an extended. Those timestamps are down below. And if you go there, I'll see you there. And if not, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for being part of this community.